Hello everybody, and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Awakening. And uh, before we get going, uh, there's a couple things that I want to buy after looking at my inventory. I'm going to buy a new Iron Lance. I carry only the finest. I need to buy a another Javelin. What can I fix you with? And we're going to buy another Wind. And I think that's all we really need to do. Did we have any extra bullions we needed to sell from I those last fights? The finest. Four of them. Is that all? 4,000 more gold. We're doing great on money, honestly. Uh, we're going to probably end up spending a lot of it on Master Seals as we start getting more people to uh, level 20. So we've got three in the bank already, and we've got three second seals. So right now we're doing fine, but... We'll eventually start having to buy them because we won't be earning them in fights fast enough. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at that. So today we're going to be doing chapter 13. Um, this is on the Carrion Isle. We are looking to get aid from Plegia, our former enemy. So that's kind of interesting. We're going to check out barracks and the supports and then we're going to get into it. I just started going back to work. Oh man, already first day of the semester and it was a busy one. My goodness. For all of you, it's like the end of February, but for me, it's like mid-January when we just started our semester, so. But yeah, it was a busy day. I'm getting ready to do a big uh, shoot for a artist. And uh, it's going to be a fun little collaboration, but uh, it's happening like the second week of school, so like next Monday. So it's uh, there's not a lot of uh, wind-up time for that. <laughs> We're just going right into it. I'm pretty excited to be doing it, though, so I'm not complaining. Okay, we got a couple supports, and one of them is an S rank. Long Ku and Robin. Let's go. Uh, uh, Robin, may I have a word? Whoa. Oh, hello, Longku. Something wrong? It's not like you to initiate a conversation. Right. In our recent battle, did you do something to me? Cast a spell? Slip me a potion? No. Uh, of course not. Why do you ask? Uh, I see. Then this feeling in my heart is from natural causes? Huh? Uh, Longku, are you feeling alright? No. It's frightening, but wonderful. You see, Robin, it appears that I've grown quite fond of you. Uh. Uh, what? <laughs> it's true, these feelings have grown despite my best efforts. It seems my plot to make you laugh had some unforeseen consequences. I must know, do you share my feelings even a little bit? Um... Well, at first I couldn't stand you, but then something happened. What? Yes? Well... Amazingly, yes, I've come to care for you too, Longku, deeply. <sighs> right then. I'm not used to dealing with women. What step should I take next? <laughs> hmm. Uh, you could embrace me, I suppose? Oh, come on. Kiss, damn it. Hmm. Very well. I uh, like this. Oh. Amazing. Your phobia of women is completely gone. Women. <laughs> no, it's just... It's only gone for you. Whoa. That might be the greatest compliment I've ever been paid. Right. The next step I do know. Will you accept this? Huh? You bought me a ring? Wait, so you had this plan the whole time? <sighs> for some time, yes. I bought it in town for you a few days past. I cannot tell you how hard it was to enter a women's jewelry store. <laughs> and yet you did it for my sake. Uh, uh... Never in my worst nightmares did I envision doing such a thing for a mere woman. A mere wo- Long coup, dude. Careful now, buddy. <laughs> but yes, I did it. For you. I hope you like it. A yeah, yeah. See, I I tried to warn him. I tried to warn him. A mere woman. I confess, I do have feelings for. God, must all these emotions be so vexing? Robin and Longku attain support level S. All right, another one down. 
Gregor and Cordelia getting their A rank. Nice. <laughs> there. Gregor outdo himself, no? Cordelia is looking like perfection. Listen. Uh, look, Gregor, I appreciate all your help with this. I really do. I mean, who even knew you could sew or apply makeup? <laughs> He's glamming the girl up. Man of many talents right here. But, um, I'm not sure any of this is going to strike at the real problem. Huh? Huh? Well? Shouldn't we have just found out more about the man and what he likes? <laughs> no, it's crazy talk. You are like tulip, bulb, and flower patch, yes? Tulip is only needing water and manure to, gr to grow into lovely flower. Tulip does not ask Gardener what color she should be, yes? Tulip just grows. What? I'm really starting to lose my grip on your analogies, Gregor. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Gregor knows his way can be very confusing sometimes. But Cordelia have passion and beauty. He knows she can succeed. <laughs> oh, you're quite skilled at pep talks, I'll grant you that. Just be careful you don't get my head too big, or I might just float off. Oh, yes. A ah, woman so charming as you should sh for sure have huge, swollen head. <laughs> All right. I wasn't sure I was going to like this relationship, but I totally like this relationship. This is great. Gregor says you are perfection, and he never wrong about such things. Now go claim, now go claim victory, yes? Do this for Gregor. Uh, yes, sir. I won't let you down. Eh? Ah, Gregor, you have let fair woman take your heart while you're not looking. Oh. Oh, well. Gregor must soldier on. I'm making it happen for you, buddy. I got your back, Gregor. I do. I got your back. That's kind of adorable. Wait, honestly. He's, like, falling in love with her while he's trying to, like, help her with another man. Well, I'm pretty sure she's actually trying to impress Krom if I'm not mistaken. All right. Now that that's done, let's get into it. Of Sacred Blood. Look who it is. Good day, my lord. Greetings, Prince Krom. Pleja welcomes you. <clears throat> Versa? What can I oh. say? It seems fate has designs for me yet. What? You serve the new king, then? This... Valador? Uh-oh. We know that name. <laughs> I do. Really? They say he worships Grima. Why, yes. Of course he is Grimlil. We are both believers. My liege often says it was his fate that got him through after Gangrel's passing. It was, dif it was a difficult time, but he kept order where there might have been chaos. We had meant to arrange an official visit to Listal, but... Oh, here's my lord now. What have we here? An honor to finally meet you, sire. I'm Validar, King Regnant of Plegia. The honor is mine, good king. Is it possible we've met before some... <clears throat> Gods, it can't be. Oh? I'm quite certain I would remember any encounter with Elysian royalty. <clears throat> Robin. Yep, we yeah. know him. I know, he looks just like the assassin that came after Emerin. Oh. And you must be Lady Robin. Huh? You know of me, sire? Hmm. The whole world knows of Elissa's master tactician. And indeed, I see the sparkle of wisdom in your eyes. Listen. We... we killed him, Robin. Hmm. I know, but the resemblance, it's uncanny. Right. How could he possibly... Hmm. Hi, the negotiations haven't even begun and already so much whispering. <laughs> My apologies, King Baladar. We meant no disrespect. Krom? What should we do? Right. Nothing for now, but stay close and be ready for anything. Now then... Let us get to it. Well... Plegia can offer no soldiers, but we'll provide 800 warships and 200 transports. 
In addition, we would be pleased to fully fund the campaign against Valm. What? That is surprisingly generous of you, my lord. We could not ask for more, quite literally. You offer most all your assets. Hmm. I would give troops as well, but our army remains in shambles from the last war. I trust the golden ships will suffice as a sign of our commitment to the cause? Thank you. Of course it will. Thank you, King Validar. <laughs> the honor is ours, my prince. I look forward to building a strong bond between our two nations. <laughs> as do I. Then if there's nothing else, my men and I must hurry back to Port Ferox. Really now? So soon? But I have one more introduction to make. Hmm? Yes, and who would that be? Hmm. A Hierophant, the highest of her order in all Plegia. So, you lead the people in worship? We were just discussing religion earlier. Huh? I'm sorry, have I said something to offend you? Clothes look hmm. rather familiar, don't they? The heart still sleeps, but the blood flows through it, and the blood is strong. <clears throat> huh? Beg pardon, were you talking to me? Explain. Good Hierophon, I would ask you lower your cowl. Any list, it is a courtesy expected of one in the presence of royalty. Yes. You were a long way from Elis, sir. But very well. <laughs> is that better? <gasps> what? <clears throat> By the gods! What manner of sorcery? No! She looks just like me. Ah, yes. My name is Robin. Oh, and that was your name as well, wasn't it? What a strange coincidence. Now then... Why, that is rather curious, now that you mention it. What are the odds? In any case, I believe we are finished here. We will let you be on your way... Wait! Hold just one moment. Oh, Lord. Listen. What is the meaning of this? Why do your hero fought in Robin? <laughs> I'm afraid we've no time for such trivial matters now, Your Highness. We have aid preparations to attend to, and you have a long, hard journey ahead. Oh, and do be careful on your way back to Port Ferox. This time of year, the high roads of Plegia can be quite treacherous. Yeah, I bet. Interesting little turn of events there, huh? <sighs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Who is that woman? How could she bear my same face? Robin. Heed me, Robin. Huh? Who's there? There's no one. I'm alone. And Heed things... my call. Woo. And things get stranger, huh? <clears throat> this voice is in my head. Who are you? What's happening? Hmm. Why do you close your heart to him, Robin? <gasps> Validar? Have you truly forgotten? <clears throat> you were calling me. Ugh, my head. Get out of my mind. <laughs> ah, such arrogance. You dare take such a tone. With your own father. What? My what? <clears throat> you are of my flesh, but of sacred blood. You are to serve a glorious purpose. Search deep in your heart. You already know it is your destiny. No. Get out. <laughs> Why do you resist us, Robin? Your rightful place is at my side. Not wasting your time with these doomed servants of Naga. Give yourself to Grima. Let me join your strength to the fell dragon. Hey! Robin! 
What? Not this one again. No matter, in time you will see the truth. And this is all it will be, a matter of time. <clears throat> Robin, are you alright? I heard shouting. <sighs> I think so. Y yes, Crom, thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Listen. Fine is a poor choice of words. What's happened? <sighs> King Validar, he... He spoke to me in my mind. He said I was his... his daughter. What? Is, is this true? Hmm. I don't know. But I also don't know it's a lie. Loath as I am to say it, I felt a... a strange connection between us. <clears throat> oh, gods. That Hierophant doppelganger. Could she be the king's daughter as well? Are you twins? <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, Krom, I, I can't remember. But if I'm being honest, it would explain much. I'm not even sure I want to know the truth of my past anymore. No. You are yourself before you were any man's daughter. Remember that. Right. Thank you, Krom. You all right? Can you walk? Yeah. I think so. Uh-oh. This isn't good. What's going on? We're under attack. Risen have encircled the camp. What? But we posted sentries. How did this happen? Ah. They made a stealthy approach, but I've never seen Risen behave like this. Either they are leaning, learning our ways, or someone is commanding them. No. Validar. This is his doing, I'm sure of it. Equip anyone who can bear arms and tell them we fight for our lives. Jesus, I'd say. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I remember this map. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Short axe, secret book. Oh yeah, we have some stat items. We should probably do that. I'll probably pause and figure out which stat items I'm gonna give to who. Oh no, longbows. Longbows. Archer classes only allows for long range attacks. Range two to three. Ooh. Okay. There's a ramp up here. Alright, we might want to avoid flyers on this map. Alright, how many of these guys... So we have... Ooh, we'll be able to get one of those longbows. That's good. There are, what, four longbows it looks like? Silver bow, that one's gonna hurt too. So two silver bows, four long bows, and some steel bows. Okay. Short axe on our on our uh, leader here. So we've got these here. I wonder if we want to backpedal to these positions before moving forward. That's probably what we want to do. Um, being in here is not going to be good for us, especially with those longbows. So I think moving backwards and then making a smart approach up is probably going to be our best option. Now there's another element to this map that I remember that I'm not sure exactly how it happened. So we'll have to see if uh, that unknown element makes us change our plans a little bit, which it definitely could. Okay, so we're gonna bring Robin for sure. Man, he is so close to his level 20. We got several people that are getting close to their level 20. Gregor Cordelia. What's resistances looking like on these groups? Decent spread between mid, low, and high, it seems.
I do kind of want to keep working on Gaius, but I don't think this is the map to do it. Wow, yeah. Um, one of my uh, one of my longtime subs, Time Turner, mentioned to me that Anna is actually really good in magic, even though you know she doesn't really have offensive magic, and so giving her the Leaven Sword is usually a good idea. How does her magic compare to Robin's? 17 to 19. So yeah, definitely Robin and Anna are our best Leaven Sword users for sure here. Sumia. Four more. Okay, we need to bring... We could do Kellum and Maribel on this one. We need a... We could also do Varian and, and, and Cherish. If we do that, then we'll have to take one person out somewhere to bring in a healer. I mean, we have Libra, but I would want either Maribel or L Lissa coming in. Maybe I shouldn't bring Cherish and Sumia. There's a lot of bows. I think I'm gonna try bringing in Stall to get him some more levels, just to see if we can make him usable. And, oh man, I want Olivia too. Oh, it gets so hard. It gets so hard to choose people because I want to bring everybody now. Okay, Olivia. Lissa. pretty good team, I think. Cordelia can hide behind Gregor. If we need her to. Ah, maybe we shouldn't bring her. Who would I bring instead? Kellum? Just to be a slow-moving wall? <laughs> Pan would probably be pretty good here. We could also bring in Anna, but I kind of want to work on some of the people who haven't gotten their um, next ranks. Use their master seals. Let's bring in Pan. Yeah, we'll bring in Pan. I think if I'm not bringing Cordelia, I won't bring Gregor. We'll bring Kellum. There's not really any mages, right? Donald is probably just going to piggyback on Naui and help Naui uh, get her levels up a bit. And then if we find ourselves in a bind, we can always switch to him and he can just tank a billion people, I'm sure.
All right, we have a lot of inventory to do now. to buy another iron bow soon. Man, that that Enos bow is powerhouse. destroy things even with wind, so we'll always give you a low-level wind. And then let's give you a fire arc fire. Buy another flux at some point. Let's give you a concoction. Give you Katarina's bolt, something that you can really just smack somebody with. You can murder everybody with that, so <laughs> why why give you anything else really when it comes down to it? <laughs> We don't need Worm Slayer or Armor Slayers on anybody, so we'll just leave those. You should have a concoction. Um, let's see, what? You're at rank D? So you can have up to an iron.
Trade her a vulnerary if we need to. All right, should we give this a shot? Hmm? What's that? A storm of crows? Gods, it's upon us! Hey! Kaka, are you folks lost or perhaps a lost cause? <laughs> oh man. Why do you have to open like that? Now we have to hate him. No, I'm just kidding, I actually like this guy. <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself! God's breath, I can't see anything through all these damned birds. Shoot! Scat! Away with you! <laughs> What's wrong? Claustrophobic? All right, he has bad jokes, though. L let's be real. Let's be real. His jokes suck. But I still like Henry. <laughs> oh, I slay me. <sighs> ah, not if these Risen do it first. This is no time for japes. Hide yourself, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought you were all right. Turns out you're all fright. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm trying to defend you here, Henry, to my audience, and you keep going. You gotta stop, my man. I'd wish you good luck killing these monsters, but they're already dead. What? We are well aware. <laughs> huh, Ravens wanted me to give you a message. Ka? Ka ka ka. Roughly translated, it means... Hmm, now what was the human word for that again? Trapes? Tripe? Oh, trapped, right. They say you're trapped. Gods! Ah, oh, we know, damn it. Gods, where did they all come from? Wow. Yeah, he's having none of Henry's bullshit. Well, see, when a mommy zombie and a daddy zombie love each other. Okay, I lied. Nope, we don't like Henry anymore. He sucks. Sorry, Henry. One too many, man. One too many, you're out. <clears throat> Perhaps I should save the Risen the trouble and silence you myself. Uh... Hey, wait, I want to join your cause. I mean, I can help you. I, I know magic. What do, you what do you say? Birds of a feather and all that? What? Those robes. A Plegian dark mage? Why would you help us? <laughs> oh, don't let all the joking around fool you. I've got kind of a thing for killing. <laughs> Most funny people do, you know. The two things must be linked somehow. Ever talk to a jester when he's off duty? Those guys are some sick dastards. <laughs> oh, the ravens also said to keep an eye on those fortresses. If you're nearby when more monsters emerge, it could cause quite a stir. Thank you for the warning, Henry. Um, yeah, so... The reason, I was wondering if he was going to pop up somewhere else on the map, but he came right into our party, so. Awesome. Henry? Looks like he's got Ruin. Might 4. Increases the likelihood of criticals. Ooh, nice. Crit 50. Damn. And he's got an Elfire. Now, Might 4. How does that compare to Flux? I think Flux is actually like a 5. Um, where... There you are. Flux. Yeah, might five. So basically, you trade a little bit of might for that insane crit chance. 50 crit. That's awesome. Alright, so we need to ask ourselves if we want to. Cover these for now. Ooh, you can almost make it. All right, we're gonna try something a little risky right at the start, just because, well, we can freaking get away with it right now. And we're gonna try and occupy some of these spaces.
I don't want her to be holding the Levin sword. <laughs> we just started the map. Okay, we did save after inventory. Yes, we did. movement. I just did it again. I'm that smart. I forgot why I even reset. Hey, I never said I was a master of video games or anything, okay? Falchion's fine. Now I want... I want my mage to take the better position. The safer position, let's say. Why am I so bad at this? Alright, well, there goes that plan. <laughs> Let's just have those two frickin' there. is too good of a chance to be honest with you. Too risky when it comes down to it. People are gonna die. Are you ready? No. Die right here? Oh. Maybe not. Well, he's about to die. It's the point. Okay, but we know. Uh, let's see what else happens before I reset. I'm just interested in seeing what, what these people are going to do, who they're going to go after. Interesting. So Libra is the, is the tastiest target, huh? Yep, I would expect Robin to be the target here. Now he can take a hit like a champ. There's Ignis. 
Damn, that's a good hit. There. Woo! I, Ignis is a great ability. Okay, so less aggressive for sure. Okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Probably just right in this area to start with. We can probably deal with him and maybe even him. Okay. That was a day do moment right there. Okay, you're level 12. 14. Let's give this to you. If I put another person here, that will keep Naoi from getting hit twice, I believe. Yes. One of them just trade spots, really, when it comes down to it. Oh, I should have put... Who was I going to pair Olivia with? Oh, I was going to do Frederick. Ooh, we should start working on that at some point. Otherwise, that's going to be a long way out. We haven't been bringing him in. I wonder if maybe we should choose somebody else for her, just because we don't like to bring Frederick into fights. I'll have to think about that. I've mentioned this, but when your partners jump in and do an attack, it does cost their ability. So, in case you are wondering, it does, and uh, you should make sure that you're taking that into account with what you have people equipped. Even if they're in the back line in safety, if they have something equipped that's a rare item that you don't want them to use, make sure that they don't have it. Tickled a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what turn reinforcements come, but we're probably going to want to block these. I'm, I'm going to probably want to try and block them this turn. So people that are in this front line, I'm going to... I'm going to want to kill all these guys right here with my back line is what I'm saying. <laughs> and 
I do have one dance that can help us out here as well, so... Legend. Right. Okay, mages can help us with. down to that bottom right. You get to the left. Pan, you can't quite get where I need you to go, so one person's gonna have to pair with you to do that. Hmm. Okay, well, we know we need to kill what's in front of us. So let's make sure that happens as well. Over there, Pan, you're gonna take two hits from the enemies. Are we okay with this? Okay, you can't get the kill that way. So instead, we're going to take a defensive position, we're going to take two hits, and just wait here. ready to do that, so I'm not going to move yet. Oh, okay. That's fine. Rally guy. This guy is rallying. Is that a strength? Yeah, rally strength. Strength plus four. Whew. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Okay, you might have to be danced to safety. I don't know if you can take a hit from that longbow. You probably could take one, but is it worth the risk? We'll check in a minute. We'll check in a minute, but... Robin is out of range, so it's just Henry. Thank you. 
Go for that 39% crit. 28% for Henry to jump in. It's not that good. But we're not getting the kill either way. So Rickon would take 10 damage from the enemy. He would also take 10 damage. in that longbow and we're gonna have a couple people with some decent range who can come in and help you out here I've got like three really good units just sitting on those fortresses Fortresses that are up north of us could also have reinforcements. So I do need to be careful of that because uh, I may be pushing some soft mages up to kill these long guns, so that could be kind of risky. Okay, this is actually okay. If you clear this path, then two people can take up relatively safe positions as long as there isn't a reinforcement here. Which is totally possible. The next turn could have reinforcements on these. Um, which would be bad for us, but it would not surprise me in the least. <laughs> but, live and learn. Um, it's knowledge we can take into the next run if, if we fail here. Um, now, both of these characters would take damage back. We can get to the squares we need. Robin, what about you? Maybe Robin is the safer one to move up here. They need the experience more, but if there's reinforcements there, ah oh man, it'd be bad. And the game warned us that there's going to be. Alright, 
If I move you up, I'm going to physic you. What about you here? Could you do it? No. It's 26, and then we could follow up with Nally. When you're dead, is that going to open up one spot for you? I don't think it does. and mana keep form to deal bonus damage to dragons. That's cool. Okay, you're safe right now, actually, so... That's a good spot to uh, bring this guy into. He has really good strength. His attack is 39. 39. Okay. about I think Pan can take the hit. Good job girl proud of you. Even more proud of you. Look at her dodging. See that would have been real trouble if I'd pushed uh Virian or um or Tharja up. So I think I made the right choice there. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a good spread on these guys. They're gonna be hard to take out, I feel like. Succinctly. is nice. You're not going to be able to get very far. So I'm wondering if, let's see, what's going to be the best use here? Um, you can get to one of these higher up individuals. You, you might be able to take down that bow user. Hmm, this is going to be a tough turn, huh? You might take up a defensive position and just use a concoction, and not move. Okay. 
get to this unit. That's unfortunate. Probably murder this guy. Actually, you can. Not flat out, anyway. Ooh, that's close. We have one dance as well. Short thing. as he murders people. <laughs> He's just a funny guy who loves murder. No biggie. God, I hope nobody pops up on these in these next on this next turn. That would be so unfortunate. We need to get him a master seal. I should have given him one at the start of this uh, map. Krom isn't too far away. We can get him one while we're here. Reset. So the question is, is I might look this up actually because it's I don't like shit like this. Um, same turn reinforcements. You know how I feel about them. But I'm gonna look up what turns they pop up on. If this is set, or if maybe we delayed it by taking it. If maybe like 
they'll always come the second you go off of them. I don't know. I think it's probably turn-based, which means that first reinforcements come from the two up top, and then on the next turn they come from down here. I'm sorry. Um, that's really unfortunate. You know how I feel about this kind of bullshit. Um, yeah, we'll have to try this map again. So, that's fun. Alright. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed. We were doing pretty well. It's always bullshit like that. Like, same turn reinforcements. Oh, I hate him so much. Okay. Alright, well, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.